Now we're going to talk about drain tile. That is very important. So at the bottom of your footing, down at the bottom of the footing, because it's all it's all buried now. So this they've got gravel all the way along here. So this this here uh, drain clad it comes up above four feet. So now no water is going to get down in there because this is only a crawl space. So this is going to be a nice deep crawl space. So it'll be good for uh, putting your utilities and stuff like that, furnace and so forth. So anyways, there we have the drain tile. So this is what they call, it's a big O. So it's four inches and it's got, um, it's got holes in it, perforated holes. So the water can get into it. And back in here, there's actually a sock on it, what they call a sock. It looks like a big sock. It prevents silt and, and very small particles from getting down inside it. So and then you can see right there, that's going to be the sump pump. So they're going to dig that down into the ground and where that black pipe comes out there, out of the, out from underneath the footing, that will go inside that barrel. And that's the way it works in here in Ontario is you actually bring, it seems counterintuitive, but you bring the water from outside of the foundation into the foundation, inside, and then they pump it out and away from the house. So unless you have gravity fall, this place does not because it's flat ground. There's nowhere for the, for the gravity, to, uh, the water to flow to. So otherwise, if you're on a hill or something like that, you could just do that, run the drain tile so it runs away from the house. But in this case, that's not possible. So and also, as you can see inside, gravel is being all poured inside here and they'll finish up there um, and it will be up to the top of that footing right there. So and then what they'll do is they'll pour a concrete pad on top of this so that it's, it makes it for really nice for working on. Some people don't pour concrete. In and so, yeah, so some guys don't pour uh, concrete uh, floors in their crawl space, which is really not the best idea. I guess if you don't have the money, you wouldn't do it. But you still should put gravel and then you should put plastic down because it keeps the moisture below that. And you don't want the moisture getting up inside there because what happens is that that moisture can suck up into your wood and then you end up with what's called dry rot, which is another video. So anyways, yeah, so they'll, they'll pour concrete flooring on top of this, just probably four inches. Doesn't have to be, it's not holding a lot of weight. All it's doing is holding the weight of itself. So anyways, too, when they bring, when they do bring this tile here into the sump pump, they'll pump that water out. And sometimes, sometimes what we'll do is actually run drain tile inside there, all along the footing around the edge there. And reason being is if you're in a really high water table area, you want to make sure that that water isn't going to get inside and make any, you know, do damages. So you want to get that water out. So, and then in here, what we have, this is the reason why we don't have gravel in here. And there's also no drain towel here is because this is the garage. You do not need, uh, you don't need drain towel around the garage because it, there's nothing to get in because that's going to be all backfilled up right to that level there so when you drive in your laneway you drive right into your garage and you there's no need for it and i see how that's damp proof back there is because that goes into the house and you don't want any water getting in there as well and as you can see here got the uh hydro nut the underground hydro coming in and uh so now you won't have any overhead wires so which is much better so you're not dealing with that so that's right there on that garage wall is where the meter base is going to be so anyways that's uh what you need to know about concrete foundation walls and uh if you want to know more about other types of uh, foundation walls uh leave a comment and uh maybe we can do a video about that so anyways thanks very much thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe and to like this and comment and uh, we're always glad to hear what other people are doing all right until next time